Hi, I'm Rodenik, and in the previous video I've shown you how to transform two old mouse pads and some uh, big pieces of buzzers into a mouse pad drum kit that allow you to play some drum sounds by triggering your MIDI instrument. And now I'm going to show you how this is possible. You can use a drum kit kit AA bundle that you can buy over w3.speakandzilabs.com. Well, the Speak and Z Lab drum kit kit AI bundle has six slots um, uh, that you can use to connect six different pair of cables, each one connected to different uh, pieds of buzzers, our triggers. This uh, Arduino based kit has also a MIDI out port that allows you to connect your MIDI equipment and a power DC in plug and also a plug for PC USB connection. Speakanzilab w3.speakanzilab.com. You can find it here also more other interesting stuff. Wow, Speak and Z Lab, and wow, Rodenic finger drum and finger pad. I'll show you how to connect your USB cable to the Arduino based uh, drum kit. Then you have the USB plug, you can connect it to your computer, and then use your favorite MIDI uh, software or MIDI expander. But you can also use uh, the MIDI out port connect it to the slot and then uh, to your MIDI pure MIDI expander in order to drive this and play the sounds you prefer and at the end uh, to make your uh, drum kit work you must finally connect your power DC power supply to the Arduino based card and uh, then uh, everything is ready to be used all this stuff is bundled in the Speak and Z Labs Arduino Kit Kit. And this is the old stuff. Uh, this is one of um, the, the piezo buzzers I used for the glove, the smallest one. And this is the finger glove ready for use. And these are the six pair of cables with the strips I lock into onto my wrist.
um, each finger of the globe corresponds to five to uh, each of these five buttons of a, a piano, a normal piano keyboard. So the, the thumb corresponds to C4. This is C4. And so on. D4, E4, OK. In a, a normal general MIDI keyboard set to the drum pad, you don't have uh, the right sounds in the, in the right position. So you can have on C3 the kick, on D3 the snare, on F sharp the closed I hat and so on. So I must rearrange on my expander, on my MIDI expander, on my MIDI keyboard, I must rearrange the sound and then change the pitch and move the C3 kick, for example, to the C4 in order to have here the, the sound I want. So probably I must reconfigure my MIDI instrument and put this sound, this C4, 12 tones down in order to have here the kick. And so I must change things in order to have here, for example, closed hi-hat. At the end, I have a, a sound patch with the right sounds in the right place. Obviously, it depends on uh, which sounds I want to play with which finger. Anyway, when I have the right combination, then by touch down, then putting down the finger, the thumb, the finger I choose, I will play the right sounds I've configured of my MIDI instrument. If you decide to use the mouse pad version instead of the glove version, uh, the, the reason uh, if you decide to use the mouse pad version, if you decide to use the mouse pad version, um, uh, it's the it's the same. Um, as you see, I put it here. I re I wrote here C4, C sharp, D, and so on. So each of these piezo corresponds to each note of the piano keyboard, starting from C4. Each finger of the globe corresponds to one key over the, a normal piano keyboard. For example, the thumb corresponds to C4, the second finger to C sharp 4, and so on. So I must create a patch, a, a, a sound, a combination sound over my MIDI instrument or MIDI expander in order to put on each of these keys the right sound I want to play with my finger.